students welcome to kalanava tutorials chitradurga so students in this video we have explained the 7th mathematics fa1 question paper with the key answers so here uh, this is the formative assessment one uh, exam question paper of this year 2023-24 so ee one question paper na now with answer explanation anna kodta idivi bani nodona ee 7th maths question paper matha key answers yav rite ide anta so before that students nive yaradra namma channel ge subscribe aagirilla antandre please subscribe our channel and on the notification so you get all the videos uh, in the future of the 7th class so okay uh, come and see what is in the question paper and the key answers of this 7th uh, uh, mathematics fa1 so students this is the 7th uh, standard uh, fa1 question paper it carries 20 marks and the duration of it is uh, 45 minutes so here we see the in the first main question there are six questions are there so for one for one marks one marks ke six questions there so you have to answer that one with uh, fill in the blanks is there and in the second main choose the correct answer for the following question among the four choices here objective of mcq questions are there you have to select the correct answer for these questions and uh, in the third main there are uh, three marks questions are there uh, sorry two marks questions three questions are there you have to answer this one and uh, in the fourth main there are three marks two questions are there find the mul uh, find the product of the two uh, numbers and then the draw the bar graph so you have to uh, see the answers in the key answer how can we answer this one Yes, students, this is the uh, key answer for the, the question paper FA1 for 7th standard. So, I take the first question here. So, first main question, fill in the blanks. So, here 369 divided by what we have put here for getting 369. So, we have to put only 1. When we put 1, we get 369. And here minus 75 divided by which number we have to write here. Here because it is minus 1, so the minus symbol is as it is. Therefore, we have to write only 75. Minus 75 divided by 75 is equal to minus 1. Here it is 1 and the if any number divided by 1 is equal to, say, we get the same number so minus 87 is the answer so here 20 is there divided by which number we get minus 2 here the minus symbol is extra is there so you have to put a minus symbol for this number and 20 when divided by 10 we get the 2 so therefore the answer is of minus 10 so the mean score of the data 2 3 4 is for finding the mean score we have to add 2 3 4 so 2 3 4 plus there are three numbers are there we have to divide this by 3 that is 9 by 3 that gives you 3 is the answer and the median data of this one we have to write it in the uh, ascending order the numbers are as it is already ascending order 2 8 12 16 and 20 when after writing this ascending order the middle number becomes the median here so that means here 12 is the median of this data so now, then we move on to the next question so second main choose the correct answer for the following questions among the four choices here there are four choices for this question which of the following is proper fraction proper fraction means the number in the numerator is lesser than the number in the denominator that means here you observe the number is greater than in the numerator and less number is than the denominator here this is a mixed fraction here it is a whole number and uh, this one is uh, uh, the numerator is greater than the uh, denominator though so option c is the correct answer this is the proper fraction so next the mode score of the data 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, 8, 2, 3, 2, 8. That means the mode score means mostly repeated score. Most probably repeated score is the mode of this one. So here 2 is repeated more times. So we get the answer as 2. 2 is repeated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times it is repeated. So it is 2 is the mode of this score. So on coming to the next third main question, find the product of these numbers. So, minus 1 into minus 2 into minus 3 into my 4. So, so, we have to find out the product of these uh, numbers. So, here, so we get this uh, question as like this. My, we have to minus first these two. Minus into minus plus 2 into 1. So, we get plus 2. 
and minus 3 into 4 minus into plus minus 3 4 is 12 so here you get plus 2 into minus 12 so that means plus 2 into minus 12 plus into minus minus 12 into 2 that gives you 24 minus 24 is the correct answer so then we come to the 10th question so minus 36 divided by 12 div all divided by 3 so we get, uh, first we have to divide these two within the bracket that means uh, 36 divided by 12 12 ones are 12 3 is a 36 you get 3 as the answer in the numerator and divided by 3 you put as this as it is that means uh, here we have to divide these two 3 by 3 3 3 get cancels 3 ones are 3 so you get one answer the minus is as it is though so you get minus 1 as the answer here so then we move on to the next one a rectangular sheet of paper is 12 1 by 2 centimeter long and 10 2 by 2 centimeter wide find its perimeter so now we have to find out the perimeter of the rectangle that means the perimeter of the rectangle formula is the perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 into l, l plus b here l is the length and b is the breadth so i have to substitute the length and breadth of this one so here 2 into L means this one 12 1 by 2 breadth means 10 2 by 3 we have to substitute here so then we get 2 into so we have to convert this into a uh, improper fraction 12 2 is a 24 plus 1 25 by 2 here 10 3 is a 30 plus 2 32 by 3 by solving this one we have to take LCM of these 2 and 3 the LCM of 2 and 3 is a 6 so here 2 3 is a 6 25 3 is a 75 then 3 2 is a 6 2 34 2 is a 64 by adding 75 and 64 you get 119 divided by 6 here 2 1 is a 2 3 is a get cancels so that means we get 119 divided by 3 so when we convert this into a mixed fraction this gives you 39 2 by 3 the perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 39 2 by 3 is the correct answer so then we move on to the so next question Fourth, uh, fourth main question well find the product of these two numbers so the decimals are given for, for finding the product i take the first one here you eliminate these zeros and multiply by one only so after multiplying one we get one zero one zero one so there are two digits here uh, and here two digits so the decimal place is after decimal place there are two digits here also there are after decimal place there are two digits totally becomes four digits so we have to put the point for the four digits one two three four so that give that gives you one point zero one and zero one so then i take this one eleven point two into uh, zero point one five i have to multiply this one when uh, one hundred and twelve is multiplied by fifteen so multiply 112 into 15 so we get the answer 1680 1680 here there are two digits after the decimal point here one digit is after the decimal point total becomes three digits you put the three digits here 1 2 3 after three digits we put a decimal point so that be that becomes 1.68 this is the correct answer and then 13th one draw a bar graph of for the following data here this is a data given by this one Canada is 25 English is 85 Hindi is 65 maths is 40 science is 70 SS is 95 for drawing the bar graph we take a graph paper and uh, draw the uh, columns related to this course so we get this type of the uh, bar graph here 0 10 so you use the graph paper here in the uh, y axis you take 0 10 20 up to 100 in the x axis you take canada english hindi math science and ss so this is the uh, type of bar graph you get the answer as so students this is the key answer for the uh, seventh fa1 maths question paper so you uh, so you have to uh, follow us uh, on our uh, youtube channel kalarava tutorials uh, chitradurga so you get more information uh, about the seventh standards uh, subjects so subscribe our channel and uh, also uh, on the notification you get so many videos from our channel thank you very much i will end this